it is it is early in the new year, and I guess that means new mysteries are upon us in Ponytown. It seems as though um, a, a new mystery is is unfolding, uh, a new story is unfolding, whatever you want to call it. Currently happening. I don't know how to start this video, but essentially, the 37Z mystery, that whole NPC character, Fuma, and everything like that, uh, to refresh you guys who are unfamiliar with that, essentially there was this mysterious quote-unquote NPC that would go around, ask for help, and then give you a quest, and then you would complete his quest, and he would give you a message, and if you put the messages together, and a with a little bit of extra work, you could unravel a whole little mini-story that was currently unfolding within Ponytown. So that's kind of that old mystery. I have a uh, like four-parter uh, playlist for you guys. If you want to watch that, I'll link it in the top right corner or at the end screen or whatever like that. Uh, you don't really have to worry too much about the, that mystery to kind of understand this one. It doesn't seem like, or I, I, I don't know for sure yet, but for now it doesn't seem like you do. So uh, for now, let's go ahead and take a look at what's happening. So uh, recently we had an encounter with that same NPC again. Wolf on my Discord server, they encountered this NPC. This NPC was, I, I think, it was it was honestly probably in the caves or in one of its other usual spots or whatever like that. But Fuma was there, and Fuma told Wolf that it's coming. And they said that the comet is coming. And they said that, uh, forget what you thought about me, something far worse is coming. The comet is coming. Uh, beware the comet. Get away, flee, escape while you still can. The comet is coming. And then after that, it just left. So this NPC basically warned them saying, hey, there's a comet coming. You need to forget like anything you know about me. Uh, like I may have been bad in the past or this or that, whatever you think of me, like this, this comet, this thing that's coming, it's going to be like way, way worse than anything that I've ever done or anything that is ever happened so far. That's basically what this character is saying. And they said that you need to get away and escape while you still can because this comet is coming and it's not going to be good. Or at least that's what it seems like uh, from their warnings and stuff like that. So that was pretty much the message we got. Uh, a little while later, not much happened, but eventually, several days later, <laughs> like several days later, uh, we had ourselves uh, a new encounter with a new NPC. Now this NPC was called Ponytown Comet 12. Uh, it was a white floating character with uh, blue markings on its face and some kind of blue symbol thing near its chest, that kind of area there. Uh, a friend, Kiwi, found that character, uh, and that character said to follow them. They said that it asked them to join, to join, to live, to free. Uh, so they decided to follow it. Yeah, get some screenshots and report on it and things like that. So uh, it led them to this island. I'll show the island now. It had about six rooms on it. They, these rooms are really weird. One has bookshelves, another one has a bunch of pumpkins, some rocks, a single lantern, a bunch of signs, and a house, and then like this thing at the very top middle, which, which is just pure shadow or whatever. Uh, you, get, you get to a certain area of this little room, and then it asked Kiwi, uh, do you want to continue? Of course they said yes, and so they, they asked them to cho choose a room. And they ended up choosing a book room, the little book room in the top left. Uh, a character appeared immediately after that. Uh, their name was literally just a book emoji. That was their name. Like, it was just a book emoji for a name. They then said the following. Ah, yes, book. A young scholar studying to become the greatest. His talents threatened stars, so she paid him a visit. Cursed with attitude and an insatiable desire. A desire to know. It's said he knows all, but knowledge is just as much a curse as it is power. Uh, the NPC, this little f floating comet character, uh, then asked them if they wanted to free Book. So they freed Book, and Book ran off the island, and then a little bit after, the little floating NPC character, the Punitown Comet character, said, You have freed Book, he can now offer quests to you. Uh, and then they ended it off with hashtag Ponytown Comet 12 and then kicked them from the party. So what we have here is very clearly some form of continuation to the old one. The old like Ponytown mystery thing with the 37Z mystery and everything like that. It seems we have ourselves a Ponytown Comet 12 mystery now. Not much else was 
was sort of figured out about this for a while. A handful of theories went out, you know, talking about this, talking about that or whatever like that. Nothing nothing we could really pinpoint or like figure out or come up with for what's going on other than stuff like, oh, maybe the comet is evil. Maybe the comet is a person. Maybe it's not evil and uh, Fuma is wrong. Things like that. But we have no idea. Uh, so we fast forward a little bit a little bit while later. We end up getting this picture. This, this picture in the uh, 37Z Mystery Discord server, which is a Discord server that is ran by the person that's running these mysteries and things like that. They ended up sending this message here. It's, it's a little picture. It says, you must be exceptionally power, powerful to have made it here. A wise one will find you soon to assign you a living space based on your attributes. Listen carefully to your wise one as they explain the rules in intricate detail. And please, whatever you do, do not break these rules. The punishment may result in banishment or the removal of your magic. So this one I don't think has too much to do with this current mystery that's going on, but this definitely explains what happened to Fuma's magic because in the old mystery, the original one about Fuma and the 37Z mystery and things like that, uh, there was this whole thing where uh, Fuma didn't have his magic and that was part of what he wanted to, to get back with all of these quests and things like that. That's what he wanted and we never really knew how he lost his magic or what the deal with what that was, but uh, this thing right there answers that. Fast forward even even further, and we get a new encounter with this Punnytown Comet character. Uh, this Punnytown Comet character found Wolf, of all people, uh, and asked them to, to join them, to follow them and things like that, of course. They did, and of course they brought them to, you know, the island, the island with the six rooms and everything like that. So they, they basically asked them to choose one of the rooms again, asking Wolf to do this. Uh, Wolf pointed out one, uh, they pointed out the lantern, and the Punnytown Comet 12 said, uh, Top Hat. Top Hat is a mysterious millionaire whose money was a mystery to all. Little was known about them, but their home was strange. It was said to be able to provide whatever you desired. Star paid them a visit to take their house for themselves. He was cursed to believe he was always right and better. Will you free Top Hat? So Wolf asked if they had other choices, and the Comet basically said, The choice is yours until you free one. So what Wolf did, and this is honestly genius of them on their part, uh, they basically went to every single room and uh, basically inquired about each room and the people inside of them. So we have, uh, we have this room here. This one was Prohibit. That's what their name was. And Comet, the, the Comet character, the Comet 12 character, said they were wild and always got into trouble. They argued that trouble was not always troubling, but eventually they were imprisoned by their own parents. Star paid them a visit because no one would miss them. They were cursed to abide by every rule that was provided. Will you free prohibit? Wolf asked what this person in this room was. Uh, they pointed out the little, the little pumpkin patch. They said pumpkin lived here. Uh, she owned a lovely little pumpkin patch. One Halloween Eve, Star paid her a visit at her busiest time. She was cursed by Star to vomit pumpkins each time she spoke. The curse would later worsen, her body transforming. The transformation is apparent, but the cure unknown. Will you free pumpkin? <laughs> so uh, that's that one. We get to the house. The house was literally a character named House. They said House. She was a shut-in. Perhaps she knew something. Something that scared her into staying inside. Star paid her a visit to find out the truth, but not even fire was enough to bring her out. Uh, so that was kind of that one. Uh, see if I can find any other messages that Wolf uh, gave us. Ah, here we go. So yes, right here. Rock. Uh, so they, they went up to the rock room and the Ponytown Comet 12 said that it was Rock. He was stubborn but kind and he lived in the woods. He often volunteered to teach young fillies survivalist skills. However, Rock was not able to survive his visit with Star. Cursed with greed, Rock cannot get enough. Never enough. His values have become corrupt. Family and loved ones are all equal to stones to him now. Will you free Rock? So that was that one. Uh, and again, Wolf decided to kind of look around. They ended up going to that top middle room where all that shadows and that tree and stuff like that was. They said Comet. Nothing is known about Comet. They have never said a word in their life. Speak to Comet? So they decided to speak to Comet, ask them questions and things like that. Um, they said hi. Comet didn't respond. So they said 12, and Comet replied with 11, 10, 9. <laughs> and Wolf, 
I uh, said, oh, no, thank you, and they, I guess, ran off. They went back to prohibit, I'm assuming, based on the rest of their uh, messages here in this server. And then uh, from there, they ended up deciding to free the pumpkin character. And of course, I'm assuming now we get to uh, perhaps uh, take quests from this pumpkin character now or something like that along the lines of that. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much the information we have right now. Uh, based on all of that, we don't really know anything else other than uh, what potentially might happen uh, in theories. Right now, what it seems like is this Ponytown Comet 12 character is perhaps freeing these characters from some type of prison since this looks like a prison uh, and you always get this line that says will you free this character after learning about them so it seems like we get to free certain characters and then take quests for those characters that we freed uh, so it seems like we might need to be picking carefully maybe we only get to free a handful of them before we don't get to free anymore after that maybe we get to free all of them uh, but one at a time or something like that I don't really know but I'm very curious to see what you guys think about all of this so far in the comments below uh, and yeah, I, like I said, I don't really know what else to really mention about this other than uh, it's really exciting. It seems like we're getting another Ponytown mystery uh, on our hands here. <laughs> we got another Ponytown mystery on our hands here, or uh, hooves, I should say. But uh, it's very interesting, and I can't wait to see what comes of this. If you ever see this character, uh, interact with it, talk with it. If you ever see any of these other characters, interact with them, talk with them, that sort of thing. And uh, perhaps we can learn more about this mystery and what's going on with this comet and everything like that. Uh, learn who Star is. Star seems to be some kind of character that is uh, probably evil, probably good. We don't really know who this pumpkin person is or who this rock person is or who this book person is. We don't know if they were actually bad people or not and if they were imprisoned there for a good reason um, or if they were just forced to put there, be put there by someone who was evil and whatever else. All we know for sure is that Star has paid like most of these people, if not all of these people, some kind of visit and has probably cursed all of them. So uh, that is pretty much all we know about this so far. I'm curious to see what you guys think. And uh, yeah, leave those in the comments below. And until next time, please do like, subscribe, share. Do all those wonderful things like that because when you do those wonderful things, you get access to wonderful content such as this. But that's not all you get. No, it is not all you get. You also get to become wonderful yourself. And I think we all want that. So do those wonderful things. And until next time, stay wonderful.